Okay, what's up, guys? So, many of you guys have asked me, and just, <clears throat> excuse me, just recently, Bird Martinez, if you haven't, go check out her channel. She has asked me, uh, how do I record, or how do you record uh, your reaction videos and stuff? She wanted to uh, get into that, and so I'm like, okay. I thought I explained it to her, like, okay, but I'm like, nah, I gotta make a video about it. I gotta, like, actually sit down and talk about this. Like, this is something where it has to be discussed, all right? So pull your chairs out, grab you some water, get what you gotta get. You might have to be here for a while, but I won't try to hold up that much time in this video. So, anyways, how to record reaction videos like myself, T-Moss Boss. So what you're going to need is a good web camera. Get yourself a good web camera and um, just don't go out there and just get anything. Like the web camera that I use and I feel like that is pretty decent is an uh, Logitech uh, HD Pro webcam C920, something like that. I, that's, I think that's the name of it that it goes by. But yes, yeah, a C920 uh, Logitech web camera. You can go get that at Best Buy somewhere. And then the microphone I use. That, um, it, this has a microphone too. But it sounds like one of those like Vietnam like walkie talkies and things. I'm like, no, I don't I don't want that. So I went ahead, got me a microphone uh, along with it, and it was a blue snowball microphone. But you can use any microphone out there. If you want to, you can use a music studio microphone, you could use a, a Yeti microphone. I think blue snowball, they have the micro they have so the one I think I got is like the forty nine or fifty nine ninety nine version. But they have one that's I think like seventy nine or ninety nine or something like that. So a little bit more expensive. And uh, I don't know, like I listen to people using that like using that microphone in videos and um, I don't know. I it's to me like listening to mine and listening to theirs, it honestly I don't I don't, I don't hear much of a difference within the video and things and so it's uh if you want i don't know it might be something special about it but uh anyways yeah get yourself a uh, decent web camera a decent microphone and then get yourself a decent computer you can't just use any old computer for it because sometimes that uh the program it might and that's why i don't really like updating this program because it's like i feel like the more you update it then that's when it's just gonna be like uh not compatible with your computer that you're using and then your reaction video is going to turn out like choppy it's going to look like an old like slideshow or something so it's like i don't i don't want that for you you know it's like i, I want i want the best for the for the people that could be recording reaction videos and stuff so um yeah i don't update this program but if you want if you're that person that wants to update it you don't care then go right ahead and do it but um yeah so get yourself a good decent laptop i have a gaming laptop it's an acer uh nitro 5 and um yeah it's like i think it's a like few years old but to just let you know how good it is it can um run some of the like latest games and things and so like it's i feel like okay if it can run some of the latest games then it should be straight on the program that I use xsplit for reaction videos and things it should be okay so uh yeah get yourself a good decent laptop and um, then what you're going to, uh, I think, because uh, this one costs 800 and I know I had used this Lenovo one, and I think that had cost only 400 So if you, the, Lelo, the Lenovo, it was good too, like I, it was, it, it had its days, but it was acting weird, and so I was just like, nah, let me, I gotta go out and get me another one, and so yeah, get you a gaming laptop, I think a gaming laptop would be better for you and things. And uh, you don't necessarily have to play games on it, on it. If you just want to record reaction videos, you could very well do that. That's pretty much what I've been doing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I need to start doing some gaming videos on it. But anyways, back to the video. So then, once you got yourself a decent web camera, a decent microphone, a decent laptop... I don't know, maybe if you're dark skinned like me and things and lighting ain't too good in your house, then go out and get yourself a lamp. I got this lamp for five bucks at Target and things. And so go out, get you a lamp, and um, yeah, make sure it's a plug in lamp. I remember I tried, I thought I can um, work with the camera light, and that thing required batteries. So it'll be like mid video, that thing look all dark, and I'm just all like, why did I just get that black? Like, just within a few minutes of this video, I've went from freaking. Tyler Moss to the darker, like the lock character in video games. Like I'm like, nah. Get you a lamp where it like plugs into the wall and things, and you ain't gotta worry about no batteries and stuff. If you're that battery person, then live reckless. All right, I hate batteries. All right, that's why I try to get all my things chargeable or uh, yeah, stuff that just don't require a battery and things. So, anyways, now you're all set. 
you got everything that you need. Now download the program XSplit, XSplit Broadcaster. All right, that's the program that you're gonna need. Exploit Broadcaster, not Gamecaster, and I think they have another one. But um, yeah, you're what you're gonna need is the Broadcaster one. Get you a Broadcaster. Once when it's um downloaded, you create an account. Now the program is open. What you're gonna want to do is come down here to Add Source. Let me move this up a little bit to show you guys. No, I want to do that. So uh, moving it up. You're gonna to want to come down to uh, add source and then uh, devices, webcam capture card, videos, and then you're gonna choose your uh, uh, microphone or not microphone. It uh, so I'll, I'll get to the microphone part because the microphone part it was a little it's it's a little bit difficult to understand at first, but yeah, uh, go down there, get to uh, um, your web camera, and then once you have your web camera added, then you're gonna to want to come back down here to add source screen capture and then smart selection and then select the screen that um we're like the yeah the youtube video screen so that box right there the youtube video uh like player box you're going to want to like capture that or select that whole part and then it's like um so how you let me let me demonstrate um how to because i feel like you guys might not understand it that well so pretty much to make it look like that all right, so and then it's like to get to so this is going to obviously be in the way, but you can very well just uh, like click on the side somewhere and it just minimizes, and then you don't have to worry about it being in your way and things. But um, yeah, uh, then it's like for it to look like that, then yeah, just capture the whole uh, just like the YouTube um, box thing. Why am I getting messages? All right, hold on. So anyways, yeah, once you do that and select it then uh yeah then you just come up here uh to all right well first i gotta show you guys what you're going up to no that's not it hold on okay let's all right to go go here to record and then there's gonna be like local recording or some crap like that click on it and then yeah then you also have a pause one so if you want to pause like take a break bathroom break or a water break or something you can very well do that and then boom you got yourself a reaction video so hopefully this video was helpful if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections and yeah i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace